Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Yesterday I got an email from a photographer who told me that they usually use Topaz Labs to Noise AI as a Lightroom plugin, but they were having a difficult time doing bulk editing into Noise AI when they do use it as a Lightroom plugin. And I don't think I've ever done a video demonstrating how to do it, so that's what we're going to be doing today. As you can see, I have Lightroom open, and I have three images of this eagle. Now, they happen to be, of course, of the same exact eagle, shot at the same time, all the same ISO, ISO 1600. But I want to stress that you don't need all the same scene or all the same subject, all shot at the same ISO, in order to do bulk editing into Noise AI. I could have a shot of an eagle, another one of a grizzly bear, another one of a gorilla, another one of a beach, another one of a mountain scene, all sh shot with different ISOs, and I could still bulk edit those in Denoise AI. It's just a little faster though if you have all similar images shot at the same ISO, and you'll see why I say that in a moment. Now I have these three images, they are raw files in Lightroom. I need to select all of them in the film strip. I'm going to click on the first one, hold the shift key down, and click on the last one so they're all selected. Now, to get them into Denoise AI, just right click right on any of them, go up to Edit In, and then over and down to Topaz Denoise AI. Now, when you use Denoise AI as a Lightroom plugin, Lightroom won't allow you to send a RAW file directly into it. They don't allow you to send a RAW file into any plugin, including Denoise AI. So you have to send a copy of the RAW file with Lightroom adjustments. And the default settings are TIFF, ProPhoto RGB, and so on. So I'm going to keep these default settings. Now if you do use Denoise AI as a standalone application, you can load multiple RAW files directly into it, and it will work on those RAW files as a bulk editor all at the same time. But again, when you're using it as a plugin, you cannot. So I have these three images. Um, I want to create TIFF files and send it into Denoise AI, and I'll click Edit. Now, you can see in the top left-hand corner, there is a progress bar. Lightroom is creating those three TIFF files with those specs, and it will open those three TIFF files in Denoise AI. While it's doing that, I want to mention that this process I'm showing you to do bulk editing in Denoise AI also works in Sharpen AI and Gigapixel AI. It works the exact same way. So if you use those apps, you could do this there too. Now, as you see, we see one of the images. And if you look down here at the bottom, you could see that all three images are here and they're all showing. If I had multiple images, like more than three, I should say, if I had like 10, this would scroll and it doesn't, there's no like bar to move this up. Like I could click this and it goes down further and then it just goes up that high. So what you need to be aware of, if you have more than three images and maybe the resolution of your monitor is different, whatever, you may not see all your images here and you just have to go down here and scroll and then you'll see them all. Now, as it is now, I'm working on a single image. You could see that it has the check mark on this image right here. So I could do my editing over here, and when it's done, then it will save this first image, and then it will advance to the next image, and then I could do my editing on that, and then it will save that image, and then I could do the third image. And that's not necessarily bulk editing, is it? Because we're doing the edits individually on the three images, and, um, that's probably the way you're going to want to do it, though, if you have different types of images, as I mentioned before, an eagle, a grizzly bear, a gorilla, a beach scene, a mountain scene, all shot at different ISOs. You'd probably want to edit those individually. In this case, because I have pretty much the same eagle shot at the same ISO, I could do editing on all three at the same time by clicking on Select All. So they're all checked. Now, any edits I do will be applied to all of them. Now I'm going to go to comparison view so I could see three, or I'm sorry, see four of the five AI models at the same time and kind of move it around a little bit. And actually the standard um, right out of the box looks pretty good. So to save time, severe noise looks actually probably a little better. Let it render. Yeah, let's go with the severe noise. So when you do it this way, 
when you chuck this select all, it's going to do this severe noise uh, model to all three images with these settings to all three images. Again, if you do them one by one, you could then do standard on one, clear on another, severe noise on a third, and so on. But I'm going to do this and click apply. And now you'll see at the top we have all three images listed and we have this blue progress bar going across as it is applying that noise reduction to all three of these images. And when it is done, it will close down to Noise AI and it will bring us back into Lightroom. And now you'll see in the film strip I'll have six images. I'll have the original three RAW files and I have then the three TIFF files. And you can see right here this is one of the raw files. Here's the TIFF file. Here's another raw file. Here's a TIFF file. And so on. So that's it. That's how you do it. Now here's the third one. Let's zoom in. Let's go up here to view and lock the zoom position. This is the raw file that does not have any noise reduction done to it. And here is the TIFF file that has the noise reduction done to it. And you can see that there is a significant improvement. Now if I go to another one, over here, this is the noise reduced image. Here is the noisy image. So there's the noisy image. There's the noise reduced image. And let's go to the final one. This is the noisy image. And here is the noise reduced image. Noisy image, noise reduced image. And that's how you do bulk editing into Noise AI when you use it as a Lightroom plugin. And it will work the exact same way if you're using Sharpen AI or Gigapixel AI as well. Now I want to mention something very quickly. Uh, there has been a change with Topaz Labs. They used to have uh, give me a like personal discount code. Uh, apparently they're not doing those anymore. So my discount code that many of you took advantage of doesn't work anymore. But Every month they give us a code uh, that will work for something and I'll have that listed in the description below this video, whatever it is for this month. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>